when we run a WordPress website, we would really like to save those form submissions that we have on our website. Or there are times when there are our form submissions that are not delivered to our info box or our mailbox. And Elementor has this little tool that can save you from not getting those email or mails to your inbox. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can enable those and how you can see those and we'll test them out. So without further ado, let's get started. When you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is first make sure that you have Elementor and this works only in the Elementor Pro version. So make sure you grab one of those if you don't have one already down in the description down below. So let's head over to Elementor and let's head over to settings and the settings. Let's go to features and scroll down until you see the form submissions. If it's not green by default, make sure that it's active on your website. After that, go ahead and save changes. And after that, let's head over to a page and test it out. Let's open a new page. All right, let's call it form test page and let's edit it with Elementor. For this matter, I would turn this page into Elementor Canvas. So go over here to settings down into your left bottom head corner. So let's go to page layout and let's go to Elementor Canvas. It will act like a canvas as you usually have in the real world, just a blank white page. And let's get over here and let's put a form. Let's drag it, drop it. Cool. Let's leave it as that as simple as it is. Just let's put some padding to it. So head over to the container and go to advanced and let's put some paddings. I usually put them in M's. It's more responsive than pixels to my opinion. And let's put three on top and four on the bottom. And I think we should add a little heading here. So we'll have it a little bit more beautiful, you can say. So let's go to um, form test. Cool. Let's change it to something that's more suitable to it. Um, yeah, why not? Let's do this. Cool. Let's publish this. One. And yeah, let's see this form or this page in action. Let's preview the content and open it in a new tab. And over here, I want to test here or write here the name and email and message. All right. So we have it all down here. So let's send this. The form was sent successfully. I'm not going to check the email, but I want to check it if the website or this form was submitted and I have it on the website. All right. So let's hover to our WP admin dashboard. Let's go over here and let's go to Elementor and submissions down just below the settings submissions. And we'll see it over here. We have our main, we have the email that was sent to and the action status, whatever it was sent or not sent. It was successful. The form name. If you want to see this one, the new form, it's if you head over to the edit page and go to the form, it's this one. If we change it, the name over here of the form would change accordingly. Also the page of form test page is the page that it was sent from the ID and when it was sent. So now you know how you can check the form submission missions on your website and never lose them if you have some. And if you like this video, I'll be really glad if you leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'm posting videos, tips and tricks on WordPress, WooCommerce and Elementor on a weekly basis. So if that sounds fun to you, I'd be really glad to have you on board. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.